Hi guys, my name is Vera. I'm happy to see you on my channel and today I'm gonna tell you a few words about Russians who try to speak English. Yes, that's me. <laughs> I'm a Russian girl. I live in Moscow. I was born in Moscow and um, yeah, a few words about Russians uh, and English, English language. Just general information. Normally we start uh, our English classes um, in in school, at school, at school, okay? Uh, about uh, first, second, third grade, like that. And we start from just very beginning. Um, you know, common Russian school, we, 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 we don't have uh, really... Um, good teachers really um, you know we're not so involved in English at school okay we have uh, special schools special English school English Russian schools but not much and uh, most uh, of people they just don't speak really well and don't like speak English just because it's difficult yeah <laughs> it's difficult for, for Russians but not not as difficult as for Chinese people I'm sure but uh, if we com compare some some uh, European countries um, we can take Spain and France uh, I'm sure you know that Spanish people and French people they just don't like and don't really uh, good in English in general, I mean just in general. Um, and uh, if you look at Russia, this is just, you know, quite the same because Russians, they like uh, Russian language and in general, uh, they um, they not feel uh, the power of English language. Um, if, you, if you want to work international, if you want to uh, get a really good job in Russia of course you should speak English it's just you know it's obvious but uh, if you are a traveler and you come to Russia uh, and you you just oh I'm okay I don't know where to go but I just ask someone no it's it's not <laughs> you will not get the answer uh, I, I think because if you just uh, take the average um, the average boy or girl in Moscow or woman or man um, you just pick them up and ask okay where is uh, Red Square uh, <laughs> help me <laughs> please um, normally people would just uh, feel afraid because okay maybe they know uh, a little bit of English and maybe they can really uh, describe the road to, and to say okay just go straight then turn left and then take this bus and then, then, then. okay maybe they can do that but normally they just uh, you know they feel shy and they think oh yes I know English I've learned English at school but I, I, I'm not good at it I have funny accent funny Russian accent uh, you know I was really shy about my accent when I was uh, for first uh, time abroad, I was uh, okay. I don't remember Malta, maybe Malta. I was, uh, but there on this beautiful island, um, I was so nervous. I was so shy. I was so. I feel everybody speaks English so good, and uh, my Russian accent is really awful. It's so funny and so on. Uh, because you know, Russian films, Russian um, art, and everything they show Russian people who speak English in a very funny way. Uh, and you might hear that um, specifically Russian accent. I don't know if I really have this accent. I'm sure I do, but I, I, I don't have a specific Russian accent. Uh, normally, uh, um, you know, that Russian people who travel to Egypt, everywhere, to Turkey, they don't speak like me. They speak uh, like, hello, uh, I'm Vera, I live in Moscow. Um, come to me, give me that cup of tea, please. Uh, sit down <laughs> hello like that more you know more um, more Russian but um, 
I was re I was learning English, um, and my teacher he was Canadian. Uh, next, my teacher uh, he was um, he was where uh, he was I don't I don't remember. Okay, but they were natively English person, so somehow I just took a little bit of English accent, a little bit. Um, and uh, okay, what next? <laughs> if, if you if you uh, will visit Russia, Russia, Russia and uh, especially Moscow, very travel con travel kindly place, especially Moscow and Saint Petersburg. Everywhere you can see um, the signs on English. Uh, it's no problem to find a way, or if you uh, want to take metro subway okay um, everywhere there is Russian and there is uh, English sign and on the road uh, but in small cities and um, and suburbs there is no English at all so I um, I would say if you want to travel uh, across the Russia use uh, big cities as a points travel points but not small cities or um, you know, small deregna, small small towns because there is no English at all. And when you go away from Moscow, about let's say fifty or hundred kilometers, uh, okay, you will not see any English at all because English only for travelers, just for normal uh, tourists who are in the center of Moscow. And if you go to the um, to the um, suburb suburbs of Moscow, there is no English also. <laughs> so English is on the center of Moscow, inside the round uh, the round road, and that's okay. You, you can meet a lot of people who speak English and tourist gu guides and uh, so on and so on. But normally, uh, I feel that lack of. Um, international somehow also in the university uh, I graduated um, Lomonosov Moscow State University and also I had my PhD down there um, I feel the this lack of you know multicultural communication and uh, global research projects we, we don't have uh, such easy communication with uh, global society, global community and yeah I feel a little bit yeah awkward about that um, when, when I was living uh, in the Netherlands about two years I was so excited about this multicultural community about that everyone in the Netherlands speaks English so perfectly I just I, I I couldn't even imagine that they are Dutch, but they speak English so good for me. I, th I, I thought, no, they're not Dutch. They are, I don't know, from Great Britain or from United States or somewhere. Because they learn English from uh, uh, childhood. They watch TV on English. They have um, cartoons for children which uh, if they are in English they watch them in English if you are in Russia you never you never um, you never see any 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 film or movie or TV show or cartoon nothing in English everything in Russian without any subtitles uh, so it's not easy when you are, when you live and grow uh, grow up in, in Russia it's you know you, you have to be precise and you have to learn English by yourself but this all environment doesn't help you so this was my uh, just general uh, Russian English language ideas I hope you like it uh, if you want uh, me to talk you through any 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 questions any ideas any topics you like please leave them down below of course i will be happy to make a video for you um uh, well thank you thank you for your attention and uh, bye bye